Boy, go get me some of that chicken. What she got in that cup? That's not water. It's a little bit brown. CTN reacts. Blind dating six girls based on glow ups. This is by Nectar versus one. Let's go. We asked Nick to speed date six women based on their pre glow up photos. I'm so before the glow. Old. I'm a growth marketing analyst. A glow up to me means. He got the Vivian. Is it real? Is it real, Nick? He's maturing spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally. Pre glow up self was definitely insecure. <laughs> that was him? Ways, mainly for being skinny, having braces, and I got bullied a lot in um, elementary, middle school. But at the same time, it's kind of made me who I am today. I don't have a strong record for a successful relationship. I've been in, I'd say like four to five. Two of them, I've had situations where I've been cheated on. Damn. And it's not necessarily something I'm really happy for, but at the same time, I sick. think I've learned a lot from it. I don't know, I'm looking like, why did I do this? <laughs> but I mean, it's fun, it's fun, it's fun. So, excited, yeah. All right, Nick. Excited, yeah. Go back, go back. Round one, so these are first impressions. So how are there multiple rounds? Like, are there a bunch of like people? Like, how does this work? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I did not expect that. I, oh my. <laughs> in a good way, no, no. I mean this in the best way, but yeah. Should I just go into... I love that you're all about safety. Hey, they really made it difficult for him. And you wear a helmet. Gotta keep the helmet on. In this picture, I was in Santa Barbara with my family and we were on one of those four-seater bikes. I thought I looked great and I, I didn't. <laughs> I love that answer. Number two, um, this is a nice little off-angle photo showing the pearly white. Where are they, where was that girl talking from? Like, where did they play that from? Is she like behind a curtain or something? Right, so I really like that. Wearing a really bright shirt. That's interesting um, because I personally wouldn't have- Oh, worn they're behind that. the curtain. <laughs> I'm like, but at the same time, we're all younger, so we all make mistakes maybe. So I was smiling so big because that was the day that my first- Why did she sound like Future? Nephew was born, I was 11, and my sister and I are 13 years apart. So it was a pretty big day for me um, being a new aunt. So that's why I was smiling so big and had the bright shirt on because it was a bright moment. <laughs> now I feel so bad making <laughs> fun of you for wearing that shirt. You liked it, that's all that matters, okay. So sorry, but I don't know what the... Is that a wolf hat? I think it's a wolf hat. Oh wait, is that... I think there's like red streaks of hair at the bottom. I think she might have dyed her hair. The wolf hat was actually a gift from my dad. So clearly you could see like, oh yeah, he dressed me like he influenced my fashion at the time. Mm. And actually I didn't dye my hair. It was like those clip-ons. I was really into like the hot topic type of style. So my fashion was just all over the place. Okay, gotcha. I really like that you were able to rock that wolf hat. You don't have to lie, it's okay. <laughs> no, I the know. next one is no, crazy. No, I, have a, I have another question for you, if that's okay. Yeah. Are you currently a furry? No. No, oh my bad, okay. <laughs> Yo, I've heard of this. What is a furry? What? What is that? I'm not gonna try and guess and sound crazy, but what is a furry? I... I might be a little scared by number four. But... Hey, yo! Why is that, huh, Nick? Why are you scared by number four, Nick? Because of the smile and the eyes. It might have honestly mm, been Halloween. Because of the smile and the eyes, huh? Mifflin, so probably an office fan. Yeah, it was a Halloween costume. I think sophomore year of high school. I love that. <laughs> cool. Yeah, so you are a big office fan. Like, I liked Kelly Kapoor's character and thought it was kind of similar to her in like some senses. So gotcha, yeah, gotcha. decided to dress up as her. <laughs> Thank you. Number five. Costume. Dang, that's a lot of attitude <laughs> in that. <laughs> hey, somebody get their auntie, bro. <laughs> bro, I can't. No, she looking like, boy, go get me some of that chicken. What she got in that cup? That's not water. It's a little bit brown. What you got in that cup? Nah, she's not having it though, look. She's the one that sits in the back of the barbecue. She's the one that, that's supervising everybody at the barbecue. Picture. I'm honestly kind of scared too here. I was at a birthday party and my dad took this photo. Back then I was like really introverted. 
So I thought it was really funny that you said that there was a lot of attitude in it. Um, can I ask why you feel that way? There's a ton of attitude just, in there. <laughs> the facial expression <laughs> kind of Bro, gives. it's the posture. It's everything about the It's the way she's holding the drink. It's the way she has her legs crossed. The posture and the look. With the glasses, too. The glasses got the little shine on it. Like, I think it's the, the way you're sitting, too, because the yeah, legs are crossed. It's old lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it's old lady. See what I'm saying? <laughs> the pose is very, very cute. I like that she's confident. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt on that one. What appears to be a heart-shaped swimsuit. Yeah, I'm not too sure what I can talk about. She's having a good time. That's all that matters, I think. Just a cool day, lounging, tanning, you know, in my one piece that I probably got from Limited 2. Limited 2? What is Limited 2? Limited 2? The earlier version of Justice. What is oh, Justice? Oh, okay. I haven't heard of either of those. Have you? And my grandma is in the background of that picture. It's her oh. 91st birthday today. Shout out, grandma. <laughs> Remember G-Day Grams, no cap. Elimination just off of that? Honestly, really hard. Okay. I think I'm gonna eliminate contestant number four, sadly, because I see her eyes and, and mouth and I have trypophobia. Yes. And so I feel like <laughs> I feel like that that's something I <laughs> I'm scared of. <laughs> oh <my. laughs> I messed up. That's like a different person, honestly. Nice to nice meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh my gosh, what's your name? Kamudi. Kamudi? Yeah. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh my god. He's sick. This is gonna be bad. She's decent, bro. Contestant number one. What was one of your dream jobs growing up? I honestly wanted to be an actress um, most of my life, I would say, until my mom said I can't be an actress. Oh, why should I'm that? gonna ignore her and I'm gonna start getting into acting there again. You go. Crazy. I think it is truly my passion. I admire your decision. I really was gonna say like you should just keep doing it and try to pursue your dreams because I wanted to be a pizza delivery boy because I really liked pizza when I was younger. Out of everything, Nick, just because you like the pizza. You're shooting for the stars there. Yeah, honestly, okay. I'm gonna, I'm the next oh Papa John's. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> what is the biggest quality you are looking for in a girl? <laughs> I think the biggest quality is someone who's trustable. He's like the bunda. Won't <laughs> cheat on me. Oh. Uh, contestant number two, if there was one thing that you would change about your past, what would that one thing be? I would say just letting others' opinions influence the way that I presented myself. I feel that out of fear of being judged, I kind of held a lot of my personality back growing up. So I would just tell my younger self to just be you and either they're gonna love you or they're not. And that has nothing to do with you. I think that's word for word what I would say to myself. So I really like that we share that similarity. Contestant number three, your hat kind of reminded me of headphones. He what stuck was on your the hat. Um, past music taste and how has it changed today? That's a good segue into a great question. That was a great question right there. Plus 10 points for Nick. I had a big boy band phase growing up. Like as a teenager, I was really into Five Seconds of Summer. And then also I was influenced by my dad's music taste. So like when ACDC would be blasting in the car, I'd feel so cool going down, being dropped off at school. I'm like, yeah, I listen to this. Now I listen more they could of use the actual song. So I really like Keisha Cole, Janae Aiko, Kelani. That's cool. Interesting. Uh, I really Interesting align palette with the right music there. taste right now. The boy band? No, no. <laughs> no judgment there, you Definitely know? Definitely not. <laughs> I like uh, SZA a lot right now. At the Ooh, moment. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> Contestant number five, what was your dream job growing up? I've always been in love with animals, so I wanted to be a veterinarian, but then my first grade teacher kind of crushed that for me. Um, she told me that I wouldn't be able to do eight years of school, and so it kind of crushed my dreams, and so I just never thought about it again. Yo, why is everybody letting other people dictate what they want to do? Bro, just go crazy. But then I found other interests. Dang, that's kind of sad. Yeah, that yeah is. But at it the same is, time, but I mean, you know. That's cool that you uh, found other interests. What's your zodiac sign and do you believe the stereotypes surrounding it? You want to guess? Yikes. 
Uh, sure. Let's um, do it. All right, we're gonna do three chances, okay? Wait, wait, why do you need three? <laughs> well, I don't know, I wanna challenge myself. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. Run it. So my first guess is gonna be a Capricorn. Yeah, no. Oh! An Aquarius. No, not a good look. <laughs> I'm just kidding. A Taurus. I am actually an Aries. <laughs> oh, that makes so much sense, yeah? No! <laughs> What's your um, zodiac sign? I'm a Gemini. Gemini. Geminis are toxic is what I heard. No! I would have guessed Gemini just for the fact that she's guessing signs. Well, oh, I, I am... <laughs> I'm a different Gemini. I'm a great Gemini. Period. Okay, okay. Can I ask a follow-up question to that? Of course. Rocks and crystals, do you like that stuff? I mean, I've read books on it, but I don't like glorify it. But wait, do you have so a you favorite like rock? It? I want to know. What do you mean, like rocks, rocks? Yeah, like aren't there like types of rocks that you like? Yo, why is he? Yo, he's flaming. Hey, yo, he's glazing the crystal culture. I kind of do like the white rocks by the train that I use it as chalk. Oh, that's a good one. I like that one. Thanks. Yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> uh, contestant yo, number six. What was one of your biggest insecurities? growing up and how have you overcome them now? Honestly, I really didn't like the way my teeth looked, but then I got braces and that solved most of it. And now I care for them very well. Shoot. So what we learned from her answer is she has very nice teeth, so to speak. Uh, so if we were to go on a honeymoon, what country would you take me to? Shoot, that's a good question. I would... Um, I can only think of France say Bora Bora. I like this. See, everybody wants to say Bora Bora and it is fire, but like, isn't that kind of basic? I mean, I guess France would be basic too, right? Like, it's not really that interesting. Vacations on Ooh. like resort islands. Okay. Because I've been eyeing that one since I was young. Where would you want to go? Summer would be a complete culture shock, like maybe Morocco or Thailand. I've been to Morocco. Morocco's big. Thailand. Sounds kind of lit. See, I would want to go to a place like Thailand. I'm just scared of the animals. Don't they got like the craziest like venomous animals there? Or am I wrong? First person I would eliminate here would be contestant number one because as much as like I'm all for you achieving your dreams and goals, personally, I don't know if I would want to date someone who's an actor or actress. Why? Do they work too much? Like, well, I mean, that's just his personal preference, but like, well, I, I would need a reason. Oh Hi. my gosh, nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to He's meet sick. you. What do you think? Glow up, glow down? Big glow. I, I, no brainer, like everyone's gonna be a Yeah, everyone's hot back on, there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're good. <laughs> that helps it was, me. It was a win either way. For sure, <laughs> nice, nice meeting, meeting you. you. He's sick. Oh my gosh, okay. I He's will gonna cry. pick contestant number five. It was the it was the rocks for me. Just eliminating them <laughs> and the signs. Hey, he wants the Asian too, girl, but uh, I personally am not a big person on that. So, hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you? She Good. looks like oh, um. Alone. She looks like that girl from. I can't think of it. I can't think of the shows from. Is it like Cheetah Girls or High School Musical or something like that? Where's you? So your sign is, what was it again? Gemini. Gemini. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So I'm assuming you still are toxic. No. <laughs> I'm not, I swear. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Contestant number two, what was your biggest inspiration growing up? Or who? I think my biggest inspiration definitely had to be my mom. Um, my father died when I was younger, like very young, like nine. Long live. So just watching the way that she handled the situation and was able to raise my sister and I by herself without really showing weakness um, was a true inspiration. And it just kind of made me want to give her the world even more and just kind of mimic her strength and how she was just able to maneuver through the world with that. Um, are you a big family person? Are you super family oriented? That's a good question. Super family oriented. So like what you said to me is just music to my ears, honestly. Uh, big respect to your mom. My parents I call every day. Might be like <laughs> borderline too much, but like I really like staying connected with my family, especially because they're like halfway across the states, so. I'm literally the one that calls everyone multiple times a like day. That. If you don't say I love you when we get off the phone, I will be calling back. 
to make sure you say that. Because you really never know the last time that you're gonna talk to someone. Yeah, I really like that. It's true. Contestant number three, what is your biggest red flag? <laughs> um, I actually could relate to you in your past like dating history. I actually was recently cheated on. So Damn. red flag for me he is wants the Asian girl. when they're not honest. I have a question for you. Yeah. You said that you recently like experienced being cheated on. How did you cope with that? The best way that I coped um, my depression, because I was severely depressed at that, that time, mm -hmm. I took solo trips to Italy. He, had a he did what for coping? Let's go back. Severely depressed at that time. Mm -hmm. I took solo trips to Italy. He had an eat, pray, love moment. Yeah, literally. <laughs> uh, I journaled a lot. Um, because I think it's really important to be in tune with your thoughts and if you write it down mm -hmm. it kind of So man's got cheated on and his first reaction was to go to Italy If only Kind of allows you to reflect a lot more I know it's a huge stigma especially for men when it comes to approaching like oh, I need help I'm not doing well Mm. What do you think about that? I love that question. Um, I think it's really important to get help. Based off of like our immigrant parents, it's not accepted or really viewed as like a real issue for like mental health specifically. Yeah, like but you're just being dramatic. Exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm. Going to therapy is also essential to coping. And that's honestly something that I did in the past as well. Retweet. It actually did help. We love a self-aware king. <laughs> Come on, you know me. <laughs> Contestant number Del three. Riz. How has your style changed in the ways that you dressed in the past compared to now? And what made that change? My style back then was really following other like people's style and just seeing what my friends were wearing. I would literally sometimes go out and get the same exact shirt as like someone else. Uh -huh. And so I think that was just me like being insecure and wanting to like fit in with like the mainstream style. When I got to college, I made a commitment to myself to fill my closet with clothes that made me feel good. And if I see something and I like it and it fits me well and it complements my body, I'm gonna get it regardless of what other people say. There you go. Wow. I like that a lot. He's eliminating two. Literally the worst. Oh, and six. Oh my gosh. I would say contestant number six because I'm not a big fan. I know you said that when you think of like a honeymoon, you want to travel and like go to somewhere that's like super culture shocky. But I personally want to just relax like a whole trip, the whole trip. Hello, nice yeah. to meet you. Nice to meet you. I like your style. Thank you, I like yours too. Thanks. It's Thanks. cool. She was ready nice for the style you. answer. <laughs> or the style Second question. Second contestant I'll eliminate will be contestant number... Two. He already knows. Sorry, uh, I'm trying to think actually, I don't know. Second contestant I'll eliminate would be contestant number three. It's honestly nothing against you. I love I the wrong. mental health um, talk that we had. I think it's really important that we have that conversation. But I think that ultimately, the things that I have in similarity with contestant number two is why I eliminated you. Hello, Hello. nice Hi. to meet you. Are you a hugger? Oh, you're a hugger. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you a hugger? He's crazy. I'm 22. I'm a neuroscience major last year, so wow. hopefully. You're very smart. Oh my gosh. Oh. Neuroscience. She's got degrees. She's got degrees. <laughs> Was she the only one that like explained herself as she walked up? No, none of the other ones did that, right? <laughs> the reason I picked contestant number two, I think, I think it was the fact that she had her morals. I think it was really important that, to me personally that she said that she's really family oriented. Like that's also something that I hold really closely to myself as well. The similarities are there, and I think it, in the sense that it makes the most sense for me. But yeah. You guys think he took a W or L? Call it right now. I don't know. I don't know. I can't tell. Isn't she the one that sounds like Future? Ball like it's March Madness. I just cop shoot Nick Tragic. But I want to keep a cool on Nick to the Nick start egg. Hello. Hi. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Hi. Arshana. Arshana. Okay. Yeah.
Chris. Nick. No comment. Me too. Cool. I'm honestly shocked. <laughs> Why? Why are you shocked? I don't know. I'm just like. I think the similarities was like the biggest thing for me. So yeah. I really like that. Um, and your answers were really uh, resonated with me. So. Yeah, and I want your answers too. Cool. Like yeah. it was a match. <laughs> yeah, it was a match. I was honestly shocked. There were so many beautiful and great ladies. So it's kind of cool to know that. Um, but I was really shocked. Honestly, I was back there like, wow. <laughs> That's funny. I am open to the idea. I feel like we did have a lot of similar qualities and morals and things like that. So I would definitely be open to that. I think there was a lot of similarities with uh, Ashana and me. So I think that would be definitely in the books for sure. This is the fun part. <laughs> oh. They showed that picture already. Nope. I hate it. Oh. I'm no, so I, dead. Like, stop that no. nigga looked like he <laughs> played with geckos. Still filming? I think I was around like in fourth, maybe I was in fifth grade. I would always tell like my barber to just do whatever to my hair. They literally did whatever to, to my hair. I think it's adorable. I think, <laughs> but it's definitely a glow up. I can see it. Thank you. For sure. Thank you. <laughs> Bro looked like he had a reptile room. If it wasn't, I would be kind of sad. <laughs> yeah, what a glow up means to me is learning to be comfortable with who you are and being happy in the skin that you're in. She was funny. She was really funny. Um, so I commend her for that. Honestly, being really ambitious back then and being really creative has like gotten me, you know, where I am today and like even just moving to LA. So I had big dreams back then and I'm really glad that she like persisted with them and was, you know, confident with it. So. Yeah. Experiencing life and growing from a child to a woman has definitely been an interesting evolution, um, but I wouldn't change my journey for anything. And yeah, I'm really proud of who I became. Do you want issue? Yeah. Okay. All right. It's a cool little, cool little social experiment. It's kind of cool that they had a bunch of different types of people. I didn't expect that to be his final answer, I'll be honest. But look, that was blind dating six girls based on their glow ups. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you on the next one. We out of here.